In this video, we are going to look at how to integrate approving native ads in your Android app. To get started, I already have an Android Studio project running and we created this in our first video of the SDK initialization. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you check that link in the description to the full playlist where we initialize the, the SDK and add the inputs. Now go to your manifest and add the internet permission and the add ID permission. Then go to your build.gradle file and add the play services adds identifier, this specific version or higher. Now to integrate the approving native ads, you need to create a native ad unit id but before that let's first look at the mediation docs it is here in your approving dashboard click the platform which is android and on the sidebar find ad formats then native ads so we'll use this one of native templates so what i wanted to show you is here we have the small native ad and then the medium native ad so the medium uh, is of this size and the smaller is of this size so in this video i'll be integrating uh, the small and the medium to show you how both look but for simplicity i'll use the small size and then you can try out the medium size so now let's go to back to our uploading dashboard on the sidebar go to max so we are going to create a native ad unit id for the app that we are using which is this one here so go to max then add units create add unit I'm going to call it native example platform will be android and then search for the app that you are creating the native add unit id4 which is this one then choose the add type native then the template we are going to go with to small after that just go down and click save so the ID unit id is now created next we are going to go back to the mediation docs and then check we look at loading a native ad so we first get these data members and then we put them up here in our activity where we want to load the native ad so we import these classes And the next thing is to bring this whole method, uh, the public void create, create native ad, copy the whole of it out here, and paste it outside of your own create method. Then now let's uh, input these classes. Okay, now we need to create a layout file, uh, a layout that will hold our native ad. So in your layout where you want to show the native ad, create a frame layout. I will give it the width to match parent and the height to wrap content. And since I'm using layout, relative layout, I'm going to put this native ad at the bottom of the screen using a line parent bottom and i'll give this one an id call it native ad let me call it native ad container like this 
then I will come here where I say frame layout native add container defined view by ID I will change it to my ID that I created native add container and now I will have to replace this one with my ident ID from the uploading dashboard so this is the native add unit ID copy it and paste it here remove any extra space and now we are ready to run our app but before that this method we, we need to call it inside uh, on SDK initialized so as soon as the SDK initialized that is when we create the native ad so here I call create native ad okay so now we are ready to build and run our application So here is the app and I'm waiting for the ad to load. And as you can see, this is the approving native ad. But it is covering the whole screen which you may not want. So what we can do, we can set the height to a custom value. Instead of rock content, let's make it 200 dp and run the app again. right now it is covering the exactly the height that you specify so this is it and this is how you create uploading native ads in your android app next we are going to look at the uploading rewarded ads